And we back, back again for another episode of One Piece. We are on episode 93. We are about to jump into the desert. We saw the landscape coming into view. We're all prepped to go for the, the hot desert sun. You ready? I am, I am very ready. We just had a, a crazy couple episodes of reveals. Um, if you go check out the description, you'll see the updated list. Of my top favorite Mr. Two characters, non crew. Number two. Yeah, I know. Mr. Two is number two. And I fought <laughs> I, I spent a lot of time debating where he should go, but I couldn't I couldn't bring myself to put him anywhere else besides the number two spot. Have you said every sense. Have you been ranking these in your head throughout like your entire One Piece career? Or is this something you've been thinking about since the channel uh started it's a good question it's definitely both <clears throat> um i've never actually like put it down on paper you know what i mean but i've always mm -hmm. felt and been like oh my god like this character is my favorite this character i hate this uh -huh. character would be like here if i were to, like rank him it gets so tricky with like all the nostalgia from like old episodes and the <laughs> yeah, characters exactly. they grew up with and then new characters will come in um you'll start to see too that a lot of like my top 15 characters um contain maybe one or two very new characters like it's very hard to break this list for me so is this list um set in stone completely static or might we see uh some shift at some point i would say the top five is set in stone and set in stone shift, okay but maybe as we re revisit scenes like again like if i were to like judge my favorite arcs if i were to do a similar exercise drum island might be higher than i initially would have put it you know what i mean that's, right. that's a big part of this experience is like going through it, recatching things that that the genius that the writer Oda is put in 800 episodes beforehand that I had no idea connected to something that's relevant now. Um, and also just like deep diving the scenes with someone else like you. Um, it just brings a whole nother and sharing the emotions brings a whole nother dynamic. So all of this shifts. It's it's such a good um, re-experience for me as it is a new experience for you. So, with that said, I, I think we should jump right in. Episode 93. Let's jump in. All right. Go. See, I'm, I'm betting Chopper's in the theme now, or the uh, opening. So, maybe I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I think. It's a good question. Let's find out. Nope. No. <laughs> He's literally got tangerines. <laughs> Which is what's annoying me. I think you're right. It might be something to do with disease and stuff. Like if they have scurvy, <clears throat> they have to save it. Uh, I don't think that's stopping Luffy. He, would, he, yeah. he, would... <laughs> he literally went through that. a mouse trap. A giant he doesn't have the family. foresight to, uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Try not to act on instinct too much. <laughs> He's like, the person you need to hear it the most is already gone. <laughs> <laughs> do they, like, what's the net worth of the Straw Hat crew right now? Like, do they have money for stuff, or are they... I don't think they have too much money right now. I don't have much to barter, so <laughs> their biggest net worth is Luffy's bounty. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, because you're embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't do not associate with them here. <laughs> Remember, he's supposed to be no dead. No missing him. He's what? He's supposed to be dead. All right. Mr. Two went to go assassinate him. 
because he had failed, right? He had given away the position, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> to your point, uh, Chopper has different but, forms than yeah. Sanji. Yeah. Wasn't seen. Oh, she's got something on the mind. Wait, has Usopp never worn a shirt? I was like, I just noticed this. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Not at this point, I guess. Just overalls. <laughs> Good point. She's not wrong. <clears throat> oh, yeah, Nami should be their accountant, too, if she's not Yeah, home. she definitely is. She's the only... <laughs> Crew's got a fresh mix drink. I was about to say, have we ever seen him actually morph? Yeah. Tabasco. Really? <laughs> if it got really hot, would Luffy, like, melt? No. No. <laughs> he got super lost. He's gonna eat some firewood or something. <laughs> like they play for laughs but think about how it horrific. really is venison yeah <laughs> me neither chopper <laughs> Getting back. <laughs> well, this is Chopper's mission now. Yeah, he's probably hot as hell. Oh. oh, he's gone. That's getting shut and carted away. So he actually got back to it.
Is this a ton of weed or like <laughs> tea maybe? I don't know if I'm wrong. <laughs> Acid rain. Oh. Because you just take stuff that doesn't belong to you. Mm -hmm. This is really important. It's got to bring water to the... It's for droughts. It's illegal. Mm -hmm. It creates rain. Mm -hmm. Perfectly good rain. And think about a place like this where it's all desert, right? Yeah. The fact that someone the weather. artificial rain, yeah, big issue. So he's a lot like um, Chopper's like, doctor. Only he's a, it actually he's a smuggler, works. you know. Mm. It's like militia getting ready. Exactly what you said. They're the rebel army. And they were smuggling weapons. I don't think they'll do a lot of good against the powers they're up against, but. <laughs> Chopper's freaking out. <laughs> are we at the point where guns in the hands of a normal individual are pretty much useless against half the crew? Yeah, correct. But Let's the good drop against the other board. citizens, you know, which mm -hmm. is the point of them. <laughs> oh, foreshadowing. <laughs> yeah. Metaphor shadowing. Uh -uh. He smelled the perfume. No one can beat me. <laughs> yeah. Luffy's only truly sorry after the guy fights him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, when he said it was his treasure, right? You know how much that means to him. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, let me send you something where he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. He's knocking Luffy down a couple of times. Yeah.
So this dance powder is what started the whole rebellion. Hmm. This guy's been like covertly. Obviously, they didn't find him out. Well, he's separate. He's trying to do it probably years later. Mm. For his own sake. He's like, I'll trade you a lunchbox for my entire life. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> now he's mad that he gave him the food. <laughs> Fan service. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sanji. Trevor's dying. What's Karoo drinking? More alcohol, I think. <laughs> it's double this. <laughs> 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 nice race ball. Oh man, the heat effect on the to be continued. I love it. That was cool. That was cool. We are jumping into the second episode of our episode of Will Descry. This is episode 94. This is going to be a fun one. Oh, your ace <laughs> is back. This is probably, what, day eight of his weight? Oh, he's a Mandalorian, yeah. it looks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice tat. This is me in Mexico. I was, was going to say, we've definitely fallen for this on multiple trips. <laughs> Wise man. <laughs> it's better than we got from those black eggs in Japan. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. <laughs> Finance fiscally mm. responsible Nami. Searching for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm starting to question Goldie Roger, Monkey D. Luffy. Zoro recognized him right away. That's interesting. Ace? Mm hmm. A tattoo. <laughs> Look who else is here. <laughs> Does she take a day off? <laughs> She's a Marine, right? Mm -hmm. Red hand woman of smoker. The smoker. <laughs> yeah, right. Luffy's just running around like a babbling idiot. <laughs> and there's two imposing figures looking for him. <laughs> yeah, is he just lost it or what? Yeah. Or I guess maybe it is a long way and his stamina is just... You know, some hallucinations. Be like, eating like a cactus or something. It's funny that he doesn't envision water or anything. He envisions meat yeah. or something refreshing food wise. Me when the buffets open back up. So wait, the spiders got into his food or they were put there? Or it's part I think of that the only solution they can think of is that he accidentally ate a spider in the desert when he was walking here and died like randomly two days later. Because how else do you just die into your plate of food like that? Oh, I thought they meant the dessert. <laughs> I thought it was the dessert. <laughs> Delicacy of alabasta.
<laughs> Just got that stamina. So is is he just too strong for the poison or what? No, that's not what happened. No, so there was no poison or anything. He literally just fell asleep in the middle of the meal. Oh. They assumed that <laughs> so he died. A... Yeah. Theory. Wow. They thought he just died because he just was literally had food in his mouth, was eating, and was talking to someone, and it just fell. Yeah. And they did it again. I never noticed Smoker's rifle. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's um, it's his pole arm thing. Ah. Uh... Okay, that's interesting. Second. Oh, okay. Pause. He Who's up there? Who he was. Remember what I was telling you? Yeah, can you back up half a sec? Ace D what? Pork as D ace. And he is the second division commander of the logo that you see tattooed on his back. Do you remember what I was telling you a, a while ago? The four that, emperors the four. of the sea. Uh okay. Okay, so maybe there's one more D that we haven't... No, 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 no. The D has nothing to do with it. <clears throat> the four emperors of the sea, the only one that you were aware of, or the only two, because of names, were Shanks and Whitebeard. Okay? The four emperors mm -hmm. of the sea are the strongest pirates in the, on the ocean. So Shanks is among them. Yeah, Shanks is one of the four emperors. And then Whitebeard is the other one, one of the four. And this guy, Ace, is the second commander. Second commander. So there's, I, I, I won't reveal anything, but there's a lot of commanders under it, and they go yeah. in order. You say this guy kind of looks like a combo of Shanks and Luffy together. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> okay. So that logo that he has on his back is the the flag of Whitebeard. <clears throat> huh. Pork as D Ace. <laughs> White stash looks like <clears throat> Mando. <laughs> you don't even know how to function right now. <laughs>
<laughs> Family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> he realized what he was gumu gumu no rocketing into. He just saw the restaurant. <laughs> Spice bean. What if we get some good curry there? Mm hmm. He sent smoke in. <laughs> do you do you see the tendencies between him and Ace now? <laughs> yeah, just reckless food eating. Yeah. I think that's what tipped me off that they looked somewhat <laughs> in the red around the hat. <laughs> At least he's polite, but he wouldn't say shit. Yeah. He didn't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> Smoker's like two for the price of one now. Yeah. So disproportional right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Took him that long to realize. <laughs> He's like in a food coma. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I remember East Blue is the the weakest C, and so ever since Smoker got posted up, not a single pirate made it past him. So right. Luffy's the first one ever, which is why he has a vendetta against him. Yeah, he wants to up his game. Mm. He's got to add a third cigar, maybe. Yeah, power levels. <laughs> Dine and Dash. Yeah. True pirate. He's got a vendetta. Yeah. They all have their personals. <clears throat> Cause Zoro has a legendary sword with him and she wants mm -hmm. it too, you know. That's she helped them obvious. shop around for it, no? What? She helped them shop around for it too, right? Kind of, yeah. One of them. Not the legendary one he has. Not the cursed one. It's the transmission? What? You just fell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never mind.
Why is Luffy running though? Oh, I guess Smoker did Smoker beat him last time, mm -hmm. and then the other guy freed him. Mm -hmm. See what just happened? Yeah. Have we seen them on screen together as kids? No. Okay. Fire Fist Ace, baby. Smoke versus fire. <laughs> there's like there's two of them <laughs> the they're <other's> stronger <laughs> oh man that's sick so I guess his hat and <laughs> everything's fireproof yeah for real you can bend around it that was uh I wasn't <laughs> expecting that a mind blower huh dude your face yeah. was so good so we just uh we, we learned a little bit about Luffy's past. Not too much. Obviously, a lot of it is still a mystery. Um, but it, you, you brought it up prior. Um, you said the only thing we know about Luffy was his connection with Shanks. That's the only time you saw Luffy as a kid. Um, mm -hmm. what, else, yeah. what else about Luffy um, exists in the world, you know? Like, we don't really know. So that's well, the first that thing. Him meeting the devil through the pirate uh, thing he had in Shanks, yeah. Yep, and that's all in one little thing. So, yep, turns out he has a he does have a family. <laughs> that's his brother. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm interested to see how this plays out. Yep. All right, so that is episode 94, I believe. Um, a lot to look forward to. Like I said, <laughs> Alabasta Arc is uh, a really beautiful setup for the rest of the series, but also. Um, a, a great arc in itself with the way that I, there's so many things that I'm noticing that Oda is setting seeds for for the climax and conclusion of this arc that I would never have noticed the first time around. Is this, uh, how many times have you gone through all the episodes? Is this your second viewing or your third, fourth, fifth? I've watched um the whole thing through like thoroughly once and then i've watched many scenes or arcs independently every once in a while throughout like my life um right. so there's certain episodes that like i would do what i was doing with you here and i'd watch with other people um mm -hmm. and only go to certain parts or they would keep going without me and so i'd only dip in and out and stuff like that so there's there's stuff like that but not i've never thoroughly one by one episode connected the chain watched from the beginning like we are now we've learned a little bit more about Luffy's past and obviously there's a lot of things that are stirring the pot right now. We have Smoker as 
um, entered the scene. We have Luffy's brother coming out of nowhere. There's Crocodile. We've seen a little bit of what he can do. Pretty devastating power, as you can imagine from what you've seen thus far. Um, and then yeah, we've got all like the other... three elementals uh, in the mm-hmm. mix. Now. Yeah, we do. They're called Logia fruit. That's a good point. So Logia means Logia. that they're made out of the substance that they are, an element usually, to your point. Um, Logia is the rarest fruit. <clears throat> in order, it goes, all fruit are obviously incredibly rare, but Paramecia, like Luffy, is the least rare. Then so That in. is, um... What, Paramecia is like um, anything. It could be like... Uh, Anything besides if you're made out of substance or turning into an animal. It's basically like the sporadic ones, if that makes right. sense. So, like, Mr. Two, for example, has a paramecia, right? Where he, like, touches right. the face and he turns into someone else. Um, and then Chopper is... Mr. Three? Is he... Mr. Three is paramecia. Oh, no, no, he's a logia, but uh-huh. in a weird way, because he is made out of wax. Usually paramecia is, like, an element, so it's like... Or, sorry, so uh, logia is, like, an element, so it's like fire, it's like smoke, etc., well, if he's made of wax and he's Logia, then look, yeah. he's like rubber. I guess it's the lines are. It's it's a weird, yeah, it's a weird. It's a like, whole video. <laughs> yeah, it really is because people have talked about that how Luffy is a Paramecia, but he's also kind of a Logia in a weird way, you know. But he's kind of not because Logia, like he can get stabbed, right? Like he still, it's like his skin was turned to rubber, but he's not made out of like a substance you know like any logia fruit ace smoker um if you stick a sword through them it'll go right through you know right because they can separate the their density and whatever um yeah so there's a lot of things in the mix the different officers we have mr two now into the scene one of my favorite characters of the show um and and the whole rebel rebel army is about to go fucking crazy. So <laughs> yeah, a lot to look And he got to. Smoker and his right hand uh, woman with personal cool. vendettas. Uh, uh, I'm that? I'm thinking they're gonna get recruited at least temporarily, but we will see. Yeah, I, I, you got Smoker and his right hand woman with their personal vendettas. Yep. You got Crocodile in the mix. Mm-hmm. You got the Straw Hats and Ace. So. Feel like we're gonna get a temporary team up at some point against Crocodile for the greater good, but we will see. Well, we know that Ace only has two days left or whatever. Like you said, he was waiting for ten days, and then his log. Post I wasn't sets. sure if that was arbitrary or not. So good to good to know. Yeah, how did how did we know he has two days left? He said it um, in the flashback from Dalton. I see. Yeah. Well, we don't know if it's exactly two days. He said he was gonna wait ten days, and like you said, like you can assume that he's been here for a little while. Mm-hmm. I doubt he just arrived. All right, cool. So that is episode 94. We just watched 93, 94. Um, looking forward to catching you guys next time. I am Kirk D. Cam. I'm Skyrim. And this is Will Describe.